we're standing now really is where the all the murders took place uh, on Bloody Sunday. Uh, my brother Wally was just over here in, in Glenfada Park, not more than 15, 20 yards from where we're standing here now. So that's really what the significance of people leaving here. They go to the guild hall. So my hope is that, that not only in Derry and for for my uh, grandchildren, but anywhere else in the world, any army in the world cannot go into a, either a village or a city and murder people and walk away and leave it and, and leave that place in turmoil the, the way they left uh, the people of Derry on Bloody Sunday. For me personally, the, the scar will, will never go away. Um, people talk about closure and, and events bringing closure. Closure, I, I don't think, ever really comes. I'll still feel the same way next week. I'll still feel the same way in three years time as what I feel now and what I've felt for the last 38 years. My my hurt, I'll, I won't leave, it, it's still out there. We have always known what the truth is, and it's it's now got the stage where uh, hopefully Lord Savile is going to allow us to tell the world. The conclusions of this report are absolutely clear. There is no doubt, there is nothing equivocal, there are no ambiguities. What happened on Bloody Sunday was both unjustified and unjustified. I'm Joe McKinney, one of the brothers of Wally McKinney who was murdered on Bloody Sunday. In the words of Lord Savile, William McKinney was shot in the back by a named shot and fatally wounded. There is no evidence and no one has suggested that William McKinney was in possession of any form of weapon. Our brother, Wally McKinney, is innocent. At the moment I feel ecstatic, I feel that part of the justice has been done and as David Cameron said, that it's not up to the government, they pursue this now. So I feel now that that has left the door open for us and the legal system more so they pursue it. Today we have had the vindication of all the people that were shot and injured on Bloody Sunday. Every one of them was totally innocent. They'd done no, nothing wrong. They were not guilty of anything. And now finally, the stigma that my brother was shot because he was a petrol bomber, that was lies. And now that lie has been uncovered and the truth has been told. I feel happy, I feel so much joy, and I feel lighter. I feel, this is how I feel as me, right? I feel dairy, the sun has shone on us. I think our relatives have shone down on us and I, it's, it's just happy days, happy days. That clears our wally now. That means that the whole world knows that a Soldier F and Soldier H, Soldier H said that he was a nail bomber. He wasn't a nail bomber. He's innocent and we always knew that.
and it's not that far from the bog to the Gelt Hall. It took 38 years, right? But eventually we got here, you know, and and the results you can see by the people who turned up the results, you know, and everybody was behind us. So we got the results. We got the results. So as I say, happy days.